My name is Ali. About a month ago, I became a dad. Finally, it's so hard to believe I now have a child. So it took me ten years. Thinking about having a child, making it happen. Now with my partner Yan Shen, we have a baby Xiao Yao. I'm just so happy. Often I look at my baby as like, "Wow, is it real? I'm having a child." <laughs> I came from China 20 some years ago. So I went to Stanford for a PhD. I spent most of my time studying, trying to get a good job, working on my career, traveling around the world, learning about the American culture. Then about ten years ago, I started to think I'd have a child. I grew up in a big family in, the, in central China, Hubei province. So having a family, the joy, the laughter, are a very fun part of of my life. In 2008, uh, gay marriage was not legalized uh, nationwide yet, and I was still learning about my sexuality. I was not out to my parents. Who are traditional Chinese parents still living in China? I did not know whether it would be possible for a gay man to have a child. And then, or what would my life like to have a baby? But then, just as I was growing, uh, growing up, growing more mature, but the natural urge, having a child, having somehow having more meaningful life, fuller life, which is growing gradually. Three years ago, after I turned 40, so then I found okay, now it's time. Take a committed action. I saved、uh, hopefully enough money to go on the surrogacy route to have my biological child. So I took the action, did a lot of research. First, I chose a nearby clinic, San Francisco. We made embryo, transferred into a nice surrogate、uh, woman. It did not work. The the precious. Embryo, a piece of meat, came out of her body in about a few days. I almost cried, depressed for a month. So then I just gathered strength and changed a different clinic. Then I made embryo again, and the, the nice surrogate mother stuck around with me,、uh, waiting for the new embryo created. And I was also very lucky. Two months before、uh, the new embryo transfer, I met my current. Spouse, husband, partner, <laughs> Yan Sheng. So then, we went through the surrogacy journey together. A lot of、uh, anticipation, anxiety, a couple of scary points. Of, oh, but luckily, everything、uh, went smoothly. It was in the Methodist Hospital of Sacramento on August 31st, 2018. So Era allowed me Yan Sheng stand stand behind her in the delivery room. It was amazing. Amazing, eye-opening experience. And I saw Dr. Gloved hand、uh, having a little bit of blood. Wow! The Yin Sheng becomes so nervous. He was rubbing my hand. I was like, "Oh, don't rub it anymore. You cause bruises on my hand." And then after maybe thirty thirty minutes of pushing, then all of a sudden five more nurses came in, and the doctor raised Ira's bed. Then I knew. It was become real. I immediately cried, just like tears burst out of my body, welling up in my eyes. Then it was shortly, a few minutes, the baby came out. I just I was in the most heightened state of excitement, tenseness I ever experienced in my life. Xiao Yao, hi Xiao Yao. Hi Xiao Yao. Your own cheeks. Your own cheeks. How two fathers, two men,、uh, take care of a newborn baby? <laughs> It was very funny. There's no mom. 
in the house. We lived together in our suburban house in San Jose. Uh, our the grandparents they are in mainland China, they in Taiwan, so no one around to help. But we figured we did our PhDs, we can nail it. But the first seven days we were nervous. I was particularly very nervous. Like it was really hard to change diapers because there's so many parts, and then he would pee and poop. <laughs> when he first had a a poop explosion. Yen Song screamed, Ali, come here! I said, what happened? Oh, poop all over the floor. <laughs> that was like a, a fun experience. After that, it was like, oh, easy now. Once or twice, I was imagining, maybe a woman has more intuition. But overall, I would say 99% of the time, our two, Yen Song and I, the two dads for baby Xiaoyao, we are very knowledgeable, we are very devoted. I feel we are very capable. We are very attentive. Whenever he's awake, we are with him. So at the moment, Shaya is about 10, one month. So all we focused is at home, baby care, diaper, poop, eat, sleep, and how to adjust our life. It's still unknown going forward. Once our baby uh, is out, going to daycare, elementary school, and all the schooling afterwards, and how the various social systems are built up. We are totally open and prepared to share uh, how Shaya was created because we feel there's nothing abnormal about surrogacy. So sperm, egg, uh, embryo development, baby care, uh, this was the same process, the human uh, biology. The only difference is in our mind, in the collective mind of our society. Imagining probably the most the social obstacle will come from the outside. What if he goes to school, he's the only child born through surrogacy to a same-sex couple? One funny example, the, the financial department of the birth hospital called me, trying to collect the, the insurance and the payment information. Then I say, I just use my insurance because we did not add the baby to our insurance yet. So I told him, told her to use my insurance. Then I said, just like how the birth mother the insurance will cover. But then she said, but you are not a female. I wonder when we go to school, it's like, oh, have all the moms I need to have a meeting now. <laughs> if I show up, would I be allowed? Xiao Yao, Bao Bao, you Daddy, Papa, and me. Daddy, you should go. In 2015, when the U.S. Supreme Court legal, legalized same-sex marriage, uh, that was a huge turning point, even in my life. And all the effort made individuals like me benefit. Then I took more seriously, I can have a normal family, I can have a child uh, growing up in a normal, loving family. When I started to think about having a child in 2008, I did not think I did not know whether same-sex marriage would be possible. Then I did not know the options. Some other people give me the, if, uh, what, I, what I call undesirable options, say, oh, pretend the baby had a mom, the mom left, disappeared into somewhere. Or my parents asked me, oh, send the baby uh, to my hometown in China, they'll take care of the baby. I would say, oh no, <laughs> the baby needs to grow up with me, <laughs> not grow up with the grandparents. Yin and I uh, married in June, a few months before our wedding. I was imagining a more traditional wedding. I would get my parents and the sisters come, he would get his sister and brother and parents come from Taiwan. Then after we both came out to our parents earlier this year, both sides showed no interest in coming to here, coming here for our wedding. Of course, deep inside we feel a little shadow. Our parents, although they did not give us a hard time, but did not want to face that we are now married to each other. Now, after the baby came, I think that changed. Now my elderly parents in their 70s in central China, Hubei, they want to see the baby almost every day through video chat. Uh, before the baby, we, I only talked to my parents once every two months. Yen Sen's mom in Taiwan also wants to see the baby video picture.
哦，猪宝宝节日快乐，猪奶奶爷爷奶奶节日快乐，哎。I never felt the three generations, my parents, so close to me in the conversation, in the emotional distance. I felt there's no like secret I need to hide or I hide from parents anymore. Because for more than 20 years, I hid being gay as a huge secret from my parents. I feel that there was a deeply seated guilt. Any time I thought about my parents, they were not happy. They feel something is lacking in my life. Even my my dad said, if he would pass away to the heaven, knowing that I'm single or doesn't have a family, he would not be happy in heaven. So that that was like a huge uh, pressure on me. So luckily, while they're still alive, they see I have a child now. I tell them, Vincent and I are. As loving and normal as a heterosexual couple, the baby is getting as much attention, if not more, than from a mom and a dad. So they seem not denying that anymore. They seem I can accept my my life. They're very grateful. Uh, two of us take care of the baby. It just feels such a nice uh, rapport among the three generations. Yeah, Papa. 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 Yeah, Papa.